it started off that day as a normal day, I guess. He went up, he uh, had his meal, he ate uh, his lunch, and then he um, went out to do what he was about to do that day. But something happened. He was injured. He was badly injured. Hello, how are you doing? I'm sitting here next to um, humanity's greatest innovation or discovery, the fire. How did we start making fire? And I have uh, touched upon this topic earlier here. And we've talked also earlier about Ötzi the Iceman. And uh, Ötzi lived in the Ötztal Alps. He's named after the Ötztal Alps. And he was found in 1991 by some hikers who were out uh, in the Alps. They saw a body sticking out from the ice. Um, and they thought it was a deceased hiker or climber. But it, it turned out that it was what's Ötzi. He had been laying there for 5,300 years. And it was later discovered that he had been killed. Uh, he had an arrow in his back and um, he had other wounds as well. I had to get my raincoat. And what's his known, what's mostly Ötzi is famous for is the fact that he, he was found together with all his items, all his clothes he was wearing his uh, axe uh, with a copper head on it. He had a quiver with arrows. He had tools. He had um, a hat made of bear skin, a bow, and um, a complete setup from the Paleolithic period. So what was found uh, among Ötzi's belongings beside, beside the famous uh, axe and uh, dagger? Well, <clears throat> in his uh, pouch that was attached to his uh, belt it was found uh, pieces of flint and uh, pieces of uh, uh, fungi called uh, chaga. And this is a parasitic mushroom. You can find it on uh, birch. So this is a larger chunk of it. It grows like an an outgrowth of um, on the birch. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> it's also called true tinder fungus. So this is exactly the mushroom, the kind of tinder fungus he was carrying. But what is very interesting is that <coughs> in order to make a fire the way they did it during this period, by striking flint against pyrite stone, which is an uh, uh, iron-containing stone, <clears throat> is that no pyrite was found in this pouch, but there were traces of pyrite in this uh, pouch. <clears throat> so we can be safe to say that he, uh, he used these three items to make fire. We don't know his, um, his technique how he how he how he actually did it in detail but we will try that here now so i prepared a bird's nest here like this so if we get an ember we will put it here and try to blow this into flames one important thing to remember here is that <clears throat> the sparks from uh, pyrite and flint is even uh, even uh, colder than uh, from uh, flint and steel. Flint and steel is a, a modern innovation. What I think Ötzi did is um, he uh, took a piece of flint, a sharp piece of flint, and he, um, 
he scraped off the tinder fungus like this to create a little little pile like this with material and this tinder fungus is the true tinder fungus it's a very fluffy material so it's it's um, superstructure is very porous and um, can easily, easily catch even cold sparks so we shave off some of this but the question is and this is Utz's secret that we may never <laughs> reveal but um, it's how he did what technique he used to strike the flint against um, the parite one one uh, idea is that he held like this he held the um, the fungi like this and um, against uh, the parite so he could strike it the flint like this and the sparks could catch onto this this uh, fungi but i don't think that was the case i think he he um, scraped off pieces like this i don't know if i've seen a spark at all yeah there i saw a spark and that spark have to catch okay so i removed i removed this and i'm trying to get more material here now I have a pile, and, and he, Utsi only had a small piece of this, maybe this size. And I mean, um, you cannot fail too many times with such a small piece. If you compare, just for comparison, look at the sparks from uh, the steel. See that? That's the spark from from the flint and steel. So much more effective. Okay. Well, I cannot succeed with this right now, but um, let's try to ignite this with the uh, flint and steel. But it should be much, much easier. Okay, that's it. I didn't succeed, but we will, however, ignite this this one using char cloth. So there we have an ember. <laughs> Let's try to, we can do like this. Let's uh, put this ember here and uh, let's ignite the chaga with this one. Yeah, so <clears throat> this this is what you want to achieve by using this method. You want to uh, strike against the parite like this till the spark catches on the um, on the chaga. Now we can see we have a glowing glowing ember. And this is no problem at all to um, to put in the bird's nest here and to uh, blow this into flames. Because once the ember is going, 
that's no problem at all. But the problem is to, to make the ember catch. So when you, when you have, when the ember has catched here <coughs> on the chaga, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, you can see here, actually it catched. And once it catches, it's, it's, uh, impossible to to uh, put out <laughs> if you don't put water to it <laughs> so <coughs> okay now we can blow this into flames yeah and here we have the fire you can see. So that's how it's made. But we didn't manage to um, to make it the Utsi way this time. But we will uh, we will try again. 